Medford, I should say. Still ahead, bringing closure to the families of drowning victims, the mission one California man is preparing for, and the biggest challenges the rescuers face. An Alpine Meadows man is heading back to the Everest region of the Himalaya, not to climb the world's highest summit, but instead to help the people who live there. Ken Gracie hopes to recover the bodies of two young Sherpas who drowned in a mountain lake. As KCRA 3's Brian Hickey shows us, the biggest challenge is just getting there. At 16,000 feet, Gokyo Lake is a hot spot for people trekking through the Himalaya. Last year, three Sherpa boys on a school trip from a nearby village decided to take a dip in the lake. None of them knew how to swim. And one of the boys um, jumped in the lake, and then a second one came in within 30 seconds, and then a third one came in, and all three of them drowned within two minutes. Since then, only one body has been recovered. Rockland Robotics expert Ken Gracie was on a trek through the region with his son when they learned of the tragedy. Well, it was one of those times in my own life, honestly, where I had had some losses of family and a friend had lost her daughter, and I, I kind of knew something about this, and I felt like it all just came together. Gracie remembered seeing a story on KCRA about Bruce's Legacy, a nonprofit group that specializes in recovering drowning victims. While in Nepal, he contacted the founder. They, they have the experience. They've done 27 recoveries. Keith Cormican took on the case despite the numerous challenges. As a parent and, and knowing that these parents have uh, their young boys in this lake um, halfway around the world and and nobody's able to find them. Um, that's that's a, they hit a hard spot with me. A video shows the boys drowning. Cormican is certain they aren't far from that spot, just feet from the shore. Getting their 100 pound underwater drone and specialized dive equipment around the world and to the remote location is the biggest and most expensive challenge. We will then have to hike uh, up into the uh, Himalayas uh, for five days. Um, that's something that we've certainly never done before. And um, to get acclimate, acclimated to the climate of 16,000 feet so we can function when we do get there. A private donor and online fundraiser have contributed $12,000, but they're hoping to raise so a bit more for diver safety and to pay porters necessary to haul the gear in and out of the region. This is important to the families there, and it's about closure. In Rockland, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News. Sending our thoughts to those families. The team is leaving in two weeks. They have set up a GoFundMe account where people can pledge help for the recovery effort of those boys' bodies. All right, let's get back to our KCRA 3 weather.